Mm-hmm. Baigan choka is something that I really enjoy eating, but it's something that I don't make often. As a matter of fact, I think I could count on one hand the amount of times I actually make baigan choka for myself. Most of the times I eat in it is because somebody else make it and I just enjoy the fruits of their labor. But today, I'm gonna make some baigan choka. And I ain't gonna lie, for something that is tastes so amazing, baigan choka don't take no rocket science to make. Sometimes the simplest meals just be the most delicious. And all you need is some baigan, eggplant, a head of garlic, and for me, a must have is some hot pepper. You could use your scorpion, your habanero, scotch bonnet, it doesn't matter, as long as you have some kind of heat. So, let me jump into this one time. Now, the only real prep work you need to do is to place your garlic in some foil, just a little, a little bit of oil, and then you wanna wrap it up. And that is it, prep done. Now, over to the flame. You need that open flame to give it that smokiness, that smoky flavor that Baigan Choker needs to have. If you ain't doing that, then it's not really Baigan Choker. All right, so I'm just gonna rest the Baigan on and start to roast it. Now, some people like to stick the garlic inside of the Baigan to roast it, and that's actually a real good technique, but I like to roast my garlic separate and then add it in after. So. You could do it both ways. You could roast the garlic separate or you could stick the cloves inside of the baigan, cut little slits, stick it in, and then let it roast and it'll get that nice garlic flavor incorporated or infused into the baigan one time. But as I say, I like to do mine separate, so I'll roast in the baigan first and then I'm gonna roast the garlic separate. Now, I don't like to leave it roasting on one side. I like to keep turning it so that it kind of cooks through evenly. Make sure that the whole thing gets cooked. So I just want to keep kind of turning it over, making sure that all the sides get good heat. Again, I suggest that you keep turning it so that it cooks evenly. And definitely nothing beats an open flame, roasting it on an open flame because it get that smokiness, that smoky flavor that I find Baigan Choker must have. As you can see, the skin starting to blister. So we're almost at the point where the baigan is fully cooked. So we're almost ready. And this took about, I would say like eight minutes or so. As you can see, the skin burst here and you see any steam coming out and thing. So I know that we're almost ready here. It's almost done. All right, nice. So you can see the skin blister and the steam coming out. Definitely have a nice, cooked baigan here, so it's gonna remove it. And now, let's roast our garlic. I wanna move the garlic around as well, so that the sides get some direct heat. Not just the bottom. And yes, this will dirty up your stove a little bit, but all that is part of the process. If you want, you could lay foil over your stove for easy cleanup, but my stove kind of easy to clean. I can remove everything and clean it up, so this is not a hassle for me. All right, so it's been about five minutes and I think the garlic is finished roasting, so it's gonna switch off the heat and remove this. And now let's start to actually assemble our baigan choker. All right, so now we wanna remove the flesh from the baigan. Just kind of peel off the burnt skin. Using a spoon to get in there. And remove it. And that is okay if you get some small pieces of charred skin up in there. All that is a bit of the smoky flavor that you get in your bag and choker. Not a, not a lot, just a little bit, you know? Just for that extra smokiness. Okay, so I was able to get most of the flesh of the baigan or the eggplant out from the skin without too much of the burnt skin getting in there. I mean, if you look, you would see a little bit of the 
charred skin up in there as well, but not too much. I mean, I did all right. Remember, I don't make this often, so my techniques might be a little off, but practice makes perfect, right? So we're good to go here. We're gonna discard this and then start working on the garlic. All right, so we have our garlic here. I just wanna pop the cloves out from the charred skin. Just gonna set that aside. Again, this is hot, so you wanna be careful. I feel charred parts, I just kind of taking that off with my hands. I guess you could use a spoon and scrape it if you wanted as well. All right, so I have my garlic prepped here and I think I did a good job removing the cloves from the burnt skin. So now I'm just gonna add it to the bygan. I'm using all of it because I mean, I really love garlic, so I'm using all the garlic. And the last thing to add would be the pepper. Now, I know people would roast the pepper and add it to the bygan choker, but I kind of like the flavor and the balance that the raw pepper gives to the bygan choker. So that nice kind of fresh heat and also you taste the fruitiness of the pepper as well in there. I find it's a nice balance to all the smokiness that's going on with the garlic and the eggplant or the bygan. So I'm just gonna cut a piece of this, not the whole thing, because I ain't able with all that heat. I probably use like half of this and then add it in. So cut in half of this. Mm-hmm, I'm just smelling that pepper. Smelling real good. I'm just gonna be fire. Adding the pepper in. And last but not least, some salt to taste. And I'm just gonna use a fork and just mash this all together. Nice. Looking good here. Taste it for salt already, and we have enough salt. So yeah, that is it here. Bygone choker in a gear. So everybody in Trinidad and Tobago knows that the way to have bygone choker is with sada. But today, I feel a little fancy and I'm having it with this Turkish bread. And if you want to see a recipe for this, look out. I will be dropping a video soon on the channel. So look out for the recipe for this. But yeah, we in file fanciness here. I'm gonna rip this. So you have a nice little pocket going on here. I'm gonna take some of my, take some of the bygone choker. Mm-hmm. Put it inside here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. We tasting real good here nice smokiness from the bygan and the garlic and then that nice fresh raw pepper coming through with the fresh heat and a bit of the fruitiness from the pepper as well yeah yeah, yeah. this is a nice bygan choker mm-hmm 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 angolai i think bygan choker could be rated as the best eggplant dish in the world hit my thumbs up if you agree comment below if you agree Bygan Choker, the best eggplant recipe in the world. I say so. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and give it a share. Don't forget, I will be posting a recipe for this flatbread or Turkish bread soon, so look out for that. And yeah, um, I'm gonna finish eating out this. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one later.